Scientists just discovered something remarkable about RAD140. This compound demonstrates a 90 to 1 anabolic to androgenic ratio, building muscle 90 times more effectively than it affects prostate tissue. The research emerging from these studies could fundamentally shift our understanding of muscle building and preservation. Disclaimer, I'm a medical lawyer. This video is supported by the law and medicine of the National Institute of Health, World Health Organization, FDA, and PubMed clinical research and peer-reviewed studies. It is not medical or legal advice. This information is not for the treatment of your condition. It represents a medicine of the future anticipated to receive FDA approval in 10 years. Researchers at Radius Health developed RAD140, also called Testolone, and the preclinical data tells an interesting story. In a study published in the Journal of Medicinal chemistry, they discovered this compound binds to androgen receptors with a higher affinity than testosterone itself. At doses that build muscle, the prostate stays completely untouched. Zero prostate growth at therapeutic doses. The selectivity was unlike anything they'd seen before. RAD140 does what testosterone can't. When researchers gave it alongside testosterone, RAD140 blocked testosterone's effects on the prostate and the seminal vesicles while making the muscle building stronger. Think of it like a a bouncer at two different clubs. In muscle tissue, it lets everyone in and turns up the music. But in prostate tissue, it blocks the door. Same compound, but opposite actions. And then there's the neuroprotection breakthrough. A study in endocrinology revealed something unexpected. RAD140 protects brain cells just like testosterone does. Researchers exposed neurons to beta amyloid, the protein that causes Alzheimer's, and RAD140 kept those cells alive. Same brain protection as testosterone, but zero prostate risk. Your brain gets the shield without your prostate paying the price. And then there's the cancer research. Clinical cancer research published findings nobody saw coming. RAD140 stops ARER positive breast cancer growth. The compound killed tumor cells in patient-derived xenografts, and it worked even better with palbociclib. We're looking at a muscle builder that fights cancer. That's like finding out your protein powder also cures diabetes. Now we have the human trials. Radius Health tested it on 22 women with breast cancer. The compound was safe and hit its targets. The androgen receptor lit up exactly as predicted. Ellipsis Pharmaceuticals bought the rights and now they're running even bigger trials. Real pharma companies spending real money because the data is that good. Next, we have the strength and muscle data. RAD140 builds muscle at tiny dosages that don't touch the prostate. Studies show strength gains, faster recovery, better endurance, and it binds tighter to the androgen receptors than testosterone. Like a key that fits better than the original. More activation and less compound needed. It's got an impressive selectivity profile. That 90 to 1 ratio changes everything. Testosterone is 1 to 1. Equal muscle and prostate effects. RAD140 gives you 90 units of muscle growth for every one unit of prostate activity. It's like getting 90 horsepower with only one gallon of gas and the efficiency is unmatched. Next we have the cognitive benefits as proven by the clinical research. RAD140 triggers MAPK pathways that save neurons. In rats with chemically damaged brains, RAD140 stopped the damage cold. USC researchers are testing it for Alzheimer's prevention right now. A compound that builds muscle and protects your brain that's two problems solved with one molecule. This research is gaining momentum. Ellipsis Pharma took over from Radius Health and they're testing it for muscle wasting, weak bones, and breast cancer. Three different diseases, one compound. When pharma companies bet millions on something, the science is solid. RAD140 shows us what's possible when compounds can pick their targets. The research keeps revealing new uses, muscle, brain, cancer. Scientists are still finding out what this molecule can do. The peer-reviewed papers keep coming, and each one shows something new. Follow for more cutting-edge miracle molecules.